I'm Terry Brock. Hey, you know, this week something happened in the news that is quite outstanding from a technical point of view, but I think even more important, it teaches us some lessons. This week, the Apple iPhone, which we thought was unpenetrable, would always be locked and always with AT&T, was hacked. That's right, it was hacked by a 17-year-old genius, a guy named George Hotz, who uh, is from New Jersey and getting ready to go to school, studying, by the way, not computers and technology, but neuroscience. I think he knows something. The guy's got an IQ of 152, and he worked at uh, this project diligently over the summer, put in over 500 hours, and finally cracked the iPhone so that you can now put a different SIM card in there and be able to use a carrier other than the one that Apple has designated, AT&T. Well, this was interesting because we see that what it uh, did is it changes a lot of things that are out there. But I think even more important for you and me in running our business, it shows us some real principles for success in the modern age. What worked before was one thing. What works today and what will work in the future is something we have to key in on and be aware of. There's some important points that can really benefit you. One of the things that he did was remain persistent. It's important today to be able to stay with something even when it doesn't work. Too often people give up quickly and they go, oh, I can't do these technology things. I'm not technological. Or here's the worst. I'm a people person. Well, we're all people. People, okay? <laughs> Some of us would work with technology. We like it because we're persistent with it. And that's the key. And you can do it too if you're persistent enough in the right way. It's not just a matter of banging your head against the wall. It's what I like to call smart persistence, staying with something in the right way. And that applies to relationship marketing, staying with people, working with that prospect over and over and over, constantly providing value that they determine is good so that you can keep your name in front of them in a favorable way. By being persistent, as George did in cracking the iPhone, you can do a whole lot for advancing your career and getting the things you want. A second principle is to work with your tribe, or tribes, plural. See, we have to have people out there working with us. As I've said before, uh, I like the saying that says, none of us is as smart as all of us. Meaning that you've got to have that community in exchange. And you see, what you want to do is have something that's very valuable. That's the currency today in the digital world. You want something valuable that you can give to them. If you're the person that's just always hanging around just because you're a nice guy, but you don't have anything really important to say, you're not going to be hanging around. They will like you. And go, oh, yeah, you know, Bob, he's a good guy. But you've got to have something that is really valuable for them. Not just what you think is nifty and cool, what they find valuable. And you see, George is able to do that because he he was able to work with the communities, exchange information. People will exchange information for free, but there is a price tag, and that price tag is you contribute valuable information also. Be in that tribe. Get involved. That's what relationship marketing is all about, developing those relationships and cultivating the things that are of value to others so that when they come seeing you, they go, oh, I want to be with him. I want to be with her. She's really smart. She knows this stuff because she's got that expertise in those areas. A third point is, don't be afraid to ask questions. Matter of fact, I often say in my seminars, there's no such thing as a dumb question. You want to be in an environment where you're comfortable to raise your hand and go, um, excuse me, this might seem silly, but what about da-da-da-da? No matter what that da-da-da-da is, if you can have that kind of environment, then you're more open. See, what happens is, if we shut down and go, oh, I can't ask that, they're going to think I'm a dummy, then you inhibit the learning. You're impeding the flow of knowledge and information that needs to come to you, and therefore that makes you the valuable commodity to deal with others and to build relationship marketing and do those kinds of things that are valuable to you. So be in an environment where it, you're free, comfortable to ask any question, and go for it. And point number four, learn how to learn. A year ago, George did not know how to unlock an iPhone. Matter of fact, uh, hardly anybody on the planet did. And yet he learned. George took the time, money, and effort to learn how to do that to make it happen. There's going to be some new thing come out. Something happened within the next six months to a year that you're going to want. Some new technology, and you don't know how to use it yet. Matter of fact, you probably don't even know what it is, because maybe it hasn't been invented yet, or it's not on the market. One key factor for success today is learning how to learn. How to acquire new information rapidly, quickly assimilate that into your brain, and then make it very useful and valuable for others. If you can do that, 
you're going to get ahead. I think George is going to do pretty well in uh, his career and what he's done. He's selling his iPhone on eBay, and uh, as of this recording, it's up over $15,000 U.S. Not bad for selling your iPhone. You see, the key is constantly develop those relationships, provide value to others, and learn and acquire the skills that you need to get ahead. You do that and you'll do well. Now if we can just get Apple to give us an iPhone that has a removable battery and that syncs with Outlook, hey, then we'll be on to something. Hey, I'm Terry Brock, and if you got questions or comments, drop me an email, terry at terrybrock.com. And don't forget to check on our online coaching program, which gives you assistance on different kinds of things. Matter of fact, watch your um, email if you're in the coaching program. This next week, we've got some special information coming to you on how to use some of the marketing principles of this to be able to increase your bookings to be able to get more business coming your way. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Have yourself a great day.